Hi everybody, welcome back to Bigger ADC. Have another knife review for you today. Today we're going to talk about the CRKT Rekiri. Man, I hope I pronounced that cor correctly. It's kind of what it looks like to me, so that's what I'm going to go with. If I'm wrong, let me know. But this knife, as well as the home front, which I reviewed a couple days ago, the Rekiri is on loan from a good friend of the channel, Bruce McConnell. So I greatly appre appreciate you loaning me these couple of knives to take a look at, Bruce. Much, much appreciated. Now, the Rekiri is a Duhara design. As just like the home front, it has the field strip technology. Now, I kind of demonstrated the field strip on the home front, so I'm not really going to do it on the Rekiri. But definitely, definitely has the technology. Now, what we have here, the Rekiri has a cold forged aluminum handle scales. Aluminum backspacer. It does have a stainless liner. Also has a stainless pocket clip for right hand tip up carry. It's got a five inch handle length on it. So Good size handle on the knife, for sure. Is a manual flipper. Runs on nylon washers. And as I said a little bit ago, it is a liner lock. Now, on the Rikiri, you've got a three and three quarter inch 1.4116 stainless steel blade. That Warncliffe, modified Warncliffe type blade. Satin finish. Three and a half inch cutting edge. And you got some blade markings there. You got the Model number 5040. CRKT on that side. Now the only thing about these CRKT knives is, I mean, I don't really understand why they need to put all their patent numbers and stuff on them. It just, I don't know, it, to me it kind of takes out, it kind of muddies up the blade a little bit, you know. I like a good clean blade, but that just seems unnecessary to me. But anyway, the Rekiri's got an eight and three quarter inch fully open length. It is made in Taiwan. Let's get our measurements on it. Let's see, zoom in a bit. Now for the size, for me, this is a pretty to me, this is really light for its size. So we're going to start out in ounces. 4.9, not too bad. 138 grams. It just doesn't, I mean, it just feels light for the size to me. I mean, yeah, it has a little bit of weight to it, obviously, almost 5 ounces, but it, it just doesn't feel like that, you know what I mean? I, I know it's probably hard to. So right at, I mean, you're looking at 0.39 there and at its absolute widest point, 0.53, not too bad. At its widest point, we're looking at, let's see, I've got, 1.55. It didn't really feel like a pocket hog. 
I, I didn't consider it one. It carried pretty nicely. I mean, that, that pocket clip is fairly deep carry. So, zoom out a little bit, help out. I mean, that pocket clip is not too bad. You don't have a whole lot showing. So, to me, it carried it carried very nice. I like the way it carried. Now, my overall take on it, guys. Pretty, it's a pretty solid knife. Now, for me, it's got that overall futuristic look, which just really isn't my my bag, not my cup of tea. So it's not something I go out and, and look for in a knife. It's very, very smooth. Very smooth action. I mean, like I said, on those, on those nylon washers, I mean, that's a really smooth knife. To me, the detent seems pretty good. But for a production knife on nylon washers, I think that's pretty smooth. I mean, I've seen some custom knives on nylon washers that are just as smooth, if not maybe even a little better than bearing knives. But on a production knife, that's pretty darn solid. Solid lockup, no play at all. Really solid in that aspect. The forward choil, very good. Done very well. Now you see there, that last little bit on the heel of the blade there is not sharpened. So you're very well protected while using that choil. You know, that could be a an aspect for some people to say, well, I'm losing cutting edge. Yeah, you are. But you know what? You're protected from that choil. So to me, not a big deal. Not, not a real big deal at all. Uh, the jimping. Jimping's done pretty well. You see you got jimping there. You've also got jimping up here. Now, could be for, could be for show. Or it could be to help out if you wanted to use the knife in a grip such as this. It would... It would definitely aid in that type of grip. So, that's a kind of a cool aspect to me. The aluminum, it is a little slippery. I mean, it's not bad. But, you can get, grip ability is good. Now, for me, it's not too bad but in this grip let's see what do we got width wise here width wise here we're looking at one and a quarter we're starting to get a little too wide for my grip i mean it's not bad it, it really isn't but we're, we're on that edge where width in this direction is starting to kind of yeah it's all right, but it's it's we're getting to that point. Now I know I pointed out on the home front that the liner stuck up pretty well. This one it does a little bit, not bad though. I mean it's got great. You can access it really nice. There's a little cut out there to help access the liner. It's not sharp at all. Can't really feel it in the grip. So that's really nice. Uh, the pocket clip for me is a little bit like it is. I like it. It's deep carry. I like that aspect of it. But it's in kind of a, I don't know, it's in a little bit of an odd position. I can feel it down here. I can feel it in my hand, in my grip. That turn, where it turns up there. I mean, it's, that's a pretty good... It turns out pretty well, and I can definitely feel that in my grip. If I adjust my hand a little bit, get a little bit more over the top of the knife, then it's not bad at all. 
Um, I really like the grip using the choil. Get a really good grip on it that way. So, I mean, just minor things. There's nothing too crazy. Now, the one thing I did kind of really notice is in the cutout on the blade, that really has no refinement whatsoever. That I can feel. That feels like it's pretty. It pretty much was stamped, and and left alone. That side's not as bad. The show side is not as bad as the clip side. The clip side's pretty rough. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that, but that side's pretty rough. Now this side has definitely had a little bit of work done to it not as not as rough at all on the show side of the knife but on the clip side it, it is definitely a little more rough I mean, overall it is a pretty solid knife it's it's like i said the, for the the look it's probably not something i would seek out to buy just aesthetically but it, it's a pretty solid knife overall I gotta give it credit. Um, Blue gave it an eight, and the only reason he gave it an eight instead of an eight point five is, like I said, it's getting a little wider for us. So the grip is is just not ideal for me. Larger hands probably would be not be an issue. And the Ray Kiri, like the home front, retails for right around sixty three dollars. So, not, not too bad overall. Again, I greatly appreciate um, our good friend Bruce loaning us the Ray Kiri for review. That's pretty cool. I, 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 it's awesome that I have such a lot of awesome people willing to loan me knives to review. That He also loaned it to Grateful Panic. And when I'm done with it, it is going to Justin from Blue Collar Survival. So if you want to check out what Grateful Panic had to say about it, or keep your eyes open for what Blue Collar thinks about the Ray Curie, keep that in mind. As always, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight. I greatly appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love talking to y'all. Until next time, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.